What are some of the core KPIs that that you guys are using at Schindler and Fleet to to measure your success today? It comes down to the fundamentals, how well we're doing as far as reducing our emissions and, of course, cost savings. Um, at, at the meet event, we're still a procurement department here, so we're definitely focused on that, making sure we're efficient, saving money at the same time, which is obviously very difficult given the constraints in the market as far as supply chain options and rising costs across the board. You know, maintenance, fuel, it's definitely something that it's really hard to control at this point. Yeah, I, I agree. I think, you know, I've talked on a couple co- podcasts about, you know, trying to control what we can. Seeing that, you know, we, we may not be able to get vehicles. We might be running vehicles a lot longer than, you know, that we plan to or they're, you know, supposed to be run from an optimization standpoint. So th- that's a great segue into this next question. Talk about some of the challenges that you're having right now, managing your fleet, you know, what gaps are there, and maybe, you know, we can dig into some of the things that you might be doing um, from a solution standpoint. Yeah, I mean, you brought it up earlier as far as uh, being more efficient. I think, you know, as far as electric vehicles can only do so much as far as reducing our emissions, we have to do a multi-prom, multi-faceted attack to really reduce our emissions as far as, you know, light weighting, being more efficient, right-sizing the vehicles. So that's definitely a huge challenge to basically transform our fleet without transforming our industry, right? Our elevator industry, right? So our elevators aren't getting any smaller. So we're definitely a tough spot here, but you know, it also goes back to the traditional fleet challenges, you know, compliance, um, you know, making sure everybody's doing the right things as far as, um, you know, maintenance and making sure that PMs are done on time, for example. And also communication is always key. It's always difficult when you have a large fleet and everybody's scattered throughout the country. So getting everybody on the same page and really communicating to lots of individuals out there is always a constant challenge for anybody managing a large fleet. I couldn't agree more. I mean, I think, you know, when you think about it, it's a perfect storm right now. You mentioned several things, but we have supply chain constraints. We have rising costs that, that doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. We have um, compliance, which is an age-old um, challenge in fleets, whether it's getting people to do vehicle inspections or whether they're mandated or not. We know those are fundamental to safety and, and efficiency in fleets. On-time maintenance, um, you know, fueling behaviors is another big one. There's a lot of great things in play right now to help us control um, that piece of it, not the consumption piece, just the b- purchase behavior piece. Okay. 